Hi, it's Debbie Williams here, an NLP trainer and hypnotherapist. And today I want to talk about how you can get over somebody who has perhaps cheated on you or has treated you badly. Sometimes we see the world through rose-coloured spectacles and we think that, oh gosh, you know, if only I could change this person because I know they love me really. And we can get into years of pining for them and not actually get on with our life. One way to break this pattern is to get yourself a, a pad of paper and to write down the pluses and the minuses and to put down all of the negative things that they've done or they cheated on me with so and so or they lied to me about that or they did this oh and that that I was never quite sure of the truth around that issue so that you have a plain picture of their negative traits against the positive traits and a lot of times just seeing this helps you to move on from this because if you were advising a friend who said oh god I just can't get over him he just he loves me so much I know he does and from the outside you can see the bloke's an idiot you know you want to shake him up and say move on and it's easy to advise somebody else but when you're in it, you kind of go into this rose-coloured spectacle thing of thinking, oh, I'm the one to save him or her and, and change this person. And what you need is a, is a real reality check. And so by seeing it in black and white, you can use this for a number of exercises. One, you can put all of the negative things in the palm of your one hand. I can't actually show you because I'm holding the iPhone here to video this. And so if you put all of the negative things in there, and then in the other hand you put all the pluses and then you clasp your hands together and, and give them a good rub together. This helps connect all of the negative stuff into the, the positive stuff that you thought that you keep daydreaming about and it helps sort of break the pattern. Another thing you can do is also take all of the, the positive things that you liked about this person and see an image in the future of somebody having those qualities yet being loyal, faithful, truthful, honest, caring and loving you and put that as your miracle, this or something even better to happen in the future and give yourself the permission to be open to receive this and it will happen. There are plenty of people out there in the world looking for a partner, plenty of people who are absolutely genuine, loving, caring, would love to have somebody like you in their life and the more you hold on to the past and the hope and the, the dream that really is unlikely to happen, the longer you're having to wait before you can attract somebody good to you. It's great talking to you today and maybe I might share some of the things that I've done in my past because I've walked my talk and it does make a difference when you change the way you're programming your mind.